Hey, Master Gardeners, I was out at the security lights again today and I found a couple different silk moths. We've looked at some of these silk moths before. They're in that same Saturnay family of moths. And so I've got both males and females here and I wanna look at, show the antenna to you so you can tell males from females. I'm not an entomologist and I always have trouble distinguishing the males from the females. But here, I've got a sample for you to look at. So these are real stout moths, and when you find them, they're so pretty and they're so big that it always it, you always just want to grab them and take a look at them. So let's take a zoom in and look real close at them. I guess you're admiring my pretty moonflower that's only in bloom at night, and I do see moths periodically who climb on that. I've smelled them at night and the bugs have flown out of it but that's only open at night time but anyway here is my set of moths now the male and the female come here guys let me lay it on the grass you might be able to see them better on down here so this is the male that's the female can you see her antenna see those little single antenna coming out of there here's the male uh oh he's hiding Come out from under there, little buddy. Let me turn him around. Let me scoot that female. There's his antenna. You can see they're very brush comb-like. Big, feathery antenna. Let's go back and look at hers. There's hers. See how thin they are? Look how woolly the body is. If you look close, if we can see her body, her body is much fatter and more stout, whereas the male's body is much more thin. And so you can see it's thin. See how narrow that is? And look at his big antenna, real large comb-like. So the characteristic of this, this what happens to be the polyphemus. You can see the window-like eye spots, and that's why they're named in this family of moths called Saturnidae, Saturday, Saturnidae named after the planet Saturn. Now the eye spots on the rear set of wings have this big dark black spot around the base and that concentric ring is supposed to look more like the planet Saturn. Now look how beat up the male is. You can see how tattered his wings are. Do you know that he can fly almost six miles in the evening hours? He can detect her scent. She releases a pharaoh scent and he can detect that if just one molecule of it gets on top of that Look at that beautiful antenna. Just one molecule, if he detects that, he'll fly to find her. So a beautiful set of moths. These are in that family of silk moths where actually commercial uh, raised, people have raised them for making silk. Which So this moth, if you can't tell, is he's about three and a half to five and a half. It's the typical size of this polyphemus. So the Cercropia is the largest. I don't usually find the Cercropia. You're probably kind of curious, like what kind of trees they're drawn to so i wrote this down i also have a luna moth i want to show to you here's the list of species that they're drawn to here's your polyphemus we have lots of oaks hickories elms and we have uh, even native birches around here so that's why we find i find these polyphemus down around on the security lights at night but i also want to show you the luna moth which is so pretty and Usually I see them early in the season. They're one of the first ones. Collectors of moths just love finding these. Here she is. Boy, well, actually he, he is. This is another male. You can look and see the, see the comb-like structures on the appendages. So this is one of the big differences between butterflies and moths is moths have these well-developed antenna and they only fly at night, whereas your butterflies fly during the day. And the sad part about these guys is they really don't even have any mouth parts, so they don't look for nectar. You find your butterflies visiting flowers during the day, but moths will never visit flowers because they don't even have any mouth parts to eat. These moths are only gonna live for approximately one week, maybe two weeks at the most, but super big differences between butterflies and moths. And what this caterpillar is gonna do, when these two, these have probably already mated, within 12 hours of her emerging, he has found her and they mate that first night that they emerge. So I can potentially save her and put her in a container with soil in the bottom of it and she'll lay her eggs on a plant stem and then they'll fall to the ground. And that's how these moths are gonna overwinter as rolled up cocoons inside of dead leaves. Totally different from your butterflies. Your butterflies fly around and they like to do 
uh, spin those chrysalis up on uh, plant stems. So very different in their reproductive stages. We even call the butterfly a chrysalis in their development stages. So certainly different in their feeding practices and the way their antennas are. So it's a really just fascinating. I keep finding these moles and I just can't resist showing them to all of you. So hope you enjoyed that. Good to see you, Master Gardeners. Bye.